Now, it so happens that your electricity bill is likely to reduce in the next month, given the advancements in electricity generation from Kenjin. In an exclusive interview with TV47, the Principal Secretary for Energy, this is Alex Washira, said that the country is anticipating additional steam power generation, which will in turn bring down the initial acquisition significantly, and that will reflect on the power bills in the coming months. This comes just days after the third nationwide power blackout that was faulted on aging infrastructure, where the cabinet ordered for the unbundling of transmission networks to avoid a repeat of the same. Now, as Hibak Saeed now reports, the western region still remains the likely area to suffer possible load shedding, especially during peak hours. Just yesterday, the cabinet resolved to unbundle the interconnected electricity transmission network that spans across the country. The move was meant to ensure a trip in one transmission network does not affect the entire country, plunging the entire state into darkness. In the same sitting, another resolve was reached. The commissioning of more generation in Kenjin and a 32-megawatt battery-powered storage unit at the Seven Forks Dam to ensure uninterrupted electricity supply, even in cases of power failure. Our dams in uh, the hydros were not full. Mm -hmm. Now, remember we talk of the Seven Forks mm -hmm. dams. Yes. We still have two more dams that we have not done. One is called uh, Karura. Mm -hmm. It will give us about uh, 105 megawatts. Mm -hmm. But the game changer, one that will give us one, uh, the spinning, increase our spinning reserve, okay. increase our hydropower, and control flooding is the high ground falls dam. Now, the frenzy to fast track these projects is in sharp contrast of the neglected power infrastructure that have remained unchanged since 2017, despite an increase in users on the power grid between then and now, from around 50% to 75%. Of course, uh, you cannot be born and run at the same time. Right. So uh, we are, I, I don't say, I don't want to say that we are crawling, mm -hmm. but we are, we are walking. We are not yet running, right. <laughs> but we are walking. We are not crawling, right. we are walking. Mm -hmm. So now it's just increasing the pace and eventually we run. Last mile connectivity has also been in full effect with the aspiration of hooking in at least a million new customers to the grid yearly. We do not have a problem mm -hmm. of power generation. We have adequate power in the grid. More so because we have improved hydrologies in our dams. Will the progress projected catch up with the increasing demand? According to the ministry, it will take roughly two years for all alternative transmission networks to be put in place. But they reckon the process could be fast-tracked to a year. We still have a backlog of probably about 120,000 meters, right. but we are going to uh, 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 unclog that mm. and push the connectivity. Mm -hmm. We have three main programs that are coming up in the, uh, in, the, in the new year. While shedding light on the situation, the principal secretary also touched on the darkness surrounding the standardization of IPP purchase prices. For the progress of, of standardizing these prices, you're saying that we as a country are getting closer and closer to having, you know, kind of a stable rate? I would say so. Right. Yes, I would say so that that's what you're looking at. Right. And we are allowing competition to come in. Hibak Said for TV 47.